What's going on guys? It's uh, me, Larry Legend, and I'm coming at you with a uh, another commentary, although this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm not really going to talk about the gameplay. I'll just give you a, a little backdrop here. Just playing some uh, TDM. Uh, I do pretty good. My class setup's kind of strange. I'm using Scout uh, for whatever reason. I don't remember, um, but I was using the, the decoys and the motion sensor, and the decoy is, uh, is actually... Pretty uh pretty funny. There's a couple times you'll see in this gameplay where uh, the decoy saves me. So um, or it doesn't save me. It shows how dumb the other team is or or whatever. I don't know. But anyways, uh, the one thing uh I actually saw today in the news and uh, for all you guys that are uh, not in the United States, we have a state called Wisconsin. And yesterday there was a 15 year old kid that uh took his high school classmates hostage. Um, he had a 9 millimeter and a 22 or something like that. And at the end of the day, he waited to the end of the school day. He took his entire class and his uh, teacher hostage, wouldn't let him go. And what happened was the, uh, at the end of the, you know, end of the day, the time was winding down, whatever, the, uh, the police decided to, uh, you know, kind of storm in there. And before they could stop him, um, he ended up killing himself and took his own life. And <clears throat> I guess the thing that I really want to talk about is high school, uh, depression. And, you know, they don't really know what the uh, reasoning or the motive was behind uh, what or why uh, this particular young man decided to take his own life or do so in such a manner as he did. But uh, I guarantee you it's going to, you know, basically boil down to uh, him being ostracized, uh, not getting along with his classmates, or, you know, depression in, in some form, one way or another. And, you know, I, I know I play a lot of video games with uh, a bunch of people that are, you know, uh, younger than me for the most part. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing most of them are still in high school or, or just about to get you know, uh, in a college or something like that. And you know, like I've said multiple times and, you know, kind of a, an older gamer, I'm 27. So I'm not, I'm not grandpa over here. Okay. But I'm not a, uh, not exactly a young buck anymore. And I've been there, you know, uh, high school, um, uh, wasn't as hard for me as I guess maybe some people, but it didn't mean that it was easy for me. Or that it was a cakewalk. There's so much you have to worry about and deal with on an everyday basis. Uh, I get why it's frustrating and hard, and you know, it, it makes it makes life difficult, especially with the way that kids act nowadays. I'm sure most of you guys know know a couple of a uh, couple of kids you've had, uh, you know, the insta mutes and stuff like that, screaming at mics and the immaturity, and that you know boils down to. Uh, real life stuff, you know, how how they handle themselves in real life, how they deal with situations, and you never know what someone's going through with or, or going on with, but high school is not the end-all, be-all. You know, you, you may think it's the end of, uh, you know, that structure or the discipline that, that you've had, but, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be real life stuff that you have to deal with once you get out of high school. Uh, God, job responsibilities uh bills you know things things like that and i remember thinking you know in high school uh specifically a couple instances where you know this is enough i've had it and i was one of the quote unquote popular kids i you know was one of the jocks one of the uh i don't know the i guess you'd say i was a dickhead sometimes i tried not to be all the time but I was, you know, and I'm not gonna not gonna lie about that, not gonna hide that. But if I could go back in time and change the way that I was and the person that I was, I would. But I didn't know any better, you know. I was a 15, 16 year old kid, and you know, I made my mistakes and I I treated people improperly. But you know, this kid had such a horrible time uh, that he decided he was gonna get revenge and he was going to get infamy on on these people that held him this way and in the end thankfully you know i mean not to say thankfully he took his own life but 
at least he didn't take anyone else's. And, you know, that's, I guess that's the, the real message here is that you, you don't take out your, your issues with other people. You always treat others as you want to be treated. And, you know, high school is just the beginning. I mean, you learn, you're going to learn so much about yourself as you get older and as you have different life experiences. And high school, yes, it can be tough. It can be hard, you know, and it sometimes may have nothing to do with you. You may just be different. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being different, okay? No matter what, it <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Because, you know, those those different kids, the, the kids that... uh you know, maybe you're a little, uh, a little quieter or, or something like that. They always have something good to offer. Okay. Th these kids, um, most of the ones that I knew that, you know, through high school and stuff like that, they're, you know, getting really good money, doing really good jobs and they're having a great life. So it's just different life experiences will change the way you look at things and the way you feel about things and how you react to different things. So don't ever think that it, there's, you know, one particular point in your life or one particular thing in your life that happened where that's going to be the difference maker. Where you're 16 years old and you decided, nope, you can't handle anymore. You can't live another 60 to, to 70 to 80 years old because, I mean, that's how, it, you know, people are living an average of 70, 75, 80 years old right now. It's not the... It's not the 30s when the average lifespan was 40 years old, you know. It, things are so much different now. There's so much for you to do, so many things for you to see due to the technology that we have that there's something out there that you'd like to try. So if you ever feel like you're in that position or that place where things are so hard for you, where life is so tough at that particular time that you can't handle it, you can't deal with it anymore, um, just take a deep breath. That's all you have to do, you know, just take a deep breath and think about things. Um, get away if you can. Do whatever it is that makes you happy. Uh, go play, you know, play video games or read a book or go back and, you know, watch cartoons that you remember watching when you were, you know, seven, six years old just to get a, just to get a laugh. Uh, talk to someone, you know, uh, especially, at, you know, as a teenager, I remember what it was like to be you know, independent and try to be independent of your parents and and not always go to them and not deal with them and they would frustrate you and annoy you, but they love you, they're there for you, um, talk to your friends, talk to someone on Xbox Live, you know, just call an anonymous phone line if you really need to talk to someone, don't worry about things, don't take, don't take everything uh, with a grain of salt. Sorry for that uh, little break there, but uh, my two-year-old came running in here, so again, I apologize. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, don't take everything with a grain of salt, all right? Take a deep breath, keep your head up, and you'll be all right, okay? It, it's not the end of the world, it's not the end of your life. Uh, you've got a long life to live, so don't worry about anything, all right? It's all good, baby.